I'm staying with I'm staying with my friends Helen and Neil McLeod, and it was supposed to be rainy and thunderstormy today, but it it's not. It's sunny, so we just got a late start doing some bush tr trimming of bushes outside. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so it's been a pretty light day, and it was a light day yesterday too. So, um, yeah, they've had, like I said, they. Uh, well, maybe I was telling somebody else. I can't remember who I said what to. They, when I first got here, we had three glorious days of warm weather, and so we got a lot of plants in. And then, for May, it started to turn you know, damp and rainy. And so it's not been that nice since the first three days I got here, but we're getting a little bit done every day, you know? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so how about, how about with you? Are you home? Yeah. Yeah. So I reached uh, home at se about 7.15 and yeah. uh, I get ready with all my things done uh, just, yeah. uh, just 15 minutes before. You know, it's a too hot out, out here, 49 degree. And oh, no wonder, you're, no wonder your 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 skin is showing because yeah. you're normally pulled up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 49, it's 49 degrees. Yeah. Yike. Wait till I tell these guys. They get worried when it gets up to 20. <laughs> they start, oh. yeah, they start working. They start worrying when it gets to 20 here. Yeah. Wow. Well, the food that we cook here is around 10 a.m. today. So it has to be eaten till tomorrow, 1.30. So I take my tiffin box to office tomorrow with this box. Yeah. So it gets spoiled if it is it stays outside. So I have to okay. get that into my refrigerator. Wow. Ooh. Yeah. Um <laughs> Do you ever make um? Do you ever make tabbouli with bulgur wheat? Is that something you ever make? Uh no, I'm not very good at cooking. Uh, yeah, that's, tell me you don't like to. Yeah. So I I love very simple food like rice, yeah. dal, and uh, some vegetables. So yeah, that is what I like, and I can eat it every day. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I I asked you I only asked you because I bought um I did buy some bulgur wheat and you can you can cook it or you can just soak it and then it gets soft and you add garlic and cucumbers and stuff but um Helen does most of the cooking here cuz she likes to and she doesn't trust anybody else in her kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I had to work my way up to get to do this uh i understand that i broke one of her crystal glasses that she got for her wedding pre a wedding present and like oh <laughs> so we looked we looked online you know for a replacement and we couldn't find any so we settled on a on a payment plan <laughs> a payment and she's going to um look and see what she can find or maybe replace the set i don't know anyway I understand. Just when I think I got it handled in the kitchen, I do something that makes her worry. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, okay. so have you um have you taken any trips since I saw talked to you? I forget if you were going anywhere. Ah, uh, because I I have to travel a lot around Delhi. You know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that is what my work area is. Because yeah. uh, we have four regional coordinators, but uh, they are far away from Delhi. So India, in any case, is a big uh, country. So yeah. four, four people are not enough. And even if they're out here somewhere, they have to travel a lot to come to Delhi. So, yeah. so around Delhi, the area is not uh, it's kind of gets neglected you know? it is yeah in, in delhi so nobody so everybody thinks that they are well looked after but nobody visits them so mm. 
that area has been given to me because i am here and i can visit any time but uh, you know the it is not that i visit them it it has to be some strategic plan no you have to have uh, meetings with the head of the institution yeah those are very uh, very large institutions so they have different kind of problems which can be sorted out yes. by uh, those have to be discussed by very senior management out here yeah uh what i do is i go to the field uh, their branches are there in uh, some remote district so yeah i visit them and uh, the officials out here, out there and uh, i have my own uh, observations about field uh, because uh, you know i work in an association of microfinance institutes right uh, so microfinance is small loan but uh, uh, you know in uh, when when small loans are given to a million of people it becomes a huge amount like yeah even if you give say 10000 rupees a million people that becomes like uh, huge so then uh, there has to be a regulation now yeah. uh, there are two aspects to it why the small loans are given to these people because the bank <laughs> banks will not give such small loans to people yeah so, uh, and these, uh, uh, these people are uh, they do not have regular income of like having a salary kind of thing they do yeah. uh, five different things during a year and yeah. uh, uh so so there is no regular income they have income but that is not regular so bank no, can see. Uh, yeah. ba- banks can only give uh loans to people who have regular income sure so this these this is a huge segment you know about india like 70% of people not even 50% of people are still um not above the uh no so this uh, poverty poverty level yeah so they yeah. are they are on the threshold uh, there are three segments below poverty level also there are three segments so mm-hmm. the upper segment is the segment which which is good with their cash flow but the moment one tra- tragedy happens in the family they will go back to very poor level Mm-hmm. so these kind of people require some loans to start a small business so so so, so is this is the money that the 